Mike Deming, Charter Oak Acoustic Devices. Most of the VO guys that I know that use our products use either the 538 or 538B or the E700. These are all side address, large diaphragm, true dual diaphragm mics. They of course use them in cardioid only. Um, these, these two mics are the same with the exception of the capsule. You have a, a 1.06 inch center terminated capsule here and the presence peak center frequency is about 10 kilohertz. Okay. Here you have a 1.07 inch side terminated capsule where the presence peak is about 12 kilohertz. Oh. So you, have, you know, it, it, it's, it, they have different timbral qualities and you can kind of judge as to the, you know, based on the guy's voice what will suit him best. Yeah, or you know, if he has a lot some of women now too. Women are going to look better on this. So yeah, you know, we're stuff to work with women's voices tend to be kind of really bright in the 12 Sure, that, this 12 is perfect. Days. And the E700, I mean, this will beat any solid state U47. It has the hottest output of any solid state condenser I know. It has the largest diaphragm in the business. It's 1.22 inches diameter. Very robust sound. All these have custom wound transformers. This has a pure class A solid state head amplifier. It's a very quiet. It's about 16, 17 dBs at uh, A-weighted noise floor. This is another one of those carefree products, you know, yeah. like you just plug it in and leave it on, you never have to worry about it again. These have the possibility of, you know, f f tubes failing yeah, and all that kind of stuff. Exactly. We do use modern tubes though. We're not one of those companies that's obsessed with new old stock new old tubes. Stock. That just is a waste of time. We use JJ, which is still made in the Slovak Republic today. And it's just, you know, this is what all the hi fi companies use. Right. You know, when you see a $20,000 power amp, it generally will have JJ's in it. Okay. So, you know. Any tubes that are readily, readily available. Readily available, and it's a dual triode. It can be yeah. changed in the field. You can just take the body off and change yeah, it. Pop it up. Yeah. And as you can see, we use all Teflon coated silver plated wire. It's all braided, twisted, it's all hand wired. It's a three millimeter circuit card with plated through holes. It's double sided. You know, all, all the parts are brass and steel castings that are uh, milled and turned and then hard chrome plated or nickel plated. It's very, yeah, it's very, very uh, sturdy. All of our products come with a lifetime warranty, microphones and processors. This weighs about 900 grams. So it's, uh, you know, it can withstand some abuse. Right, exactly. See, there's a couple of things that make this really unique. This thing is all discrete solid state. Okay. okay, it has it's capable of a hundred microsecond attack times. Okay. The the attack curve is parabolic, though. It what basically you know when a sine wave is shaped like this. Sure. When it when when this attacks at a hundred microseconds and the clippers kick in, it doesn't shave the top of your waveform off. It pushes it down, but it remains curved. So it still right. sounds very very good. Sure. The other you know unique design feature is that. We've given the uh, rectifier circuit a parabolic charge curve. So what happens is it will only release to the constantly changing average level. It'll never rush back up to zero. That's a big problem in VO work because, yeah, yeah. you know, when the guy stops talking for an instant, the compressor is just going to rush right back up to zero. Yeah, it, it, it sucks up. right back up unless he turns his release time down so slow that he's really not doing anything anyway. That's it's not going to process the, it's, yeah. the, it's the double-edged sword. Yeah. So we, we solve that completely. If you leave this release time on 10, which is the fastest setting, it's going to give you a fast release on staccato notes and a long release on legato notes. And it's never going to go past the average RMS. So if I show you the first bar of this tune, Watch the how the compressor hits the snare drum, and you know the whole band plays tutti. They play all together on the first right. note. Right. Then there's a quiet guitar note which comes after it. Okay. Most compressors would kill that guitar note, or it would rush up and it would sound unnatural. So watch this. Oh wow! See, that's very. No other compressor acts like that. <laughs> also, there's no high end loss. I can totally kill it. It's down only 2 dBs at 32K when you're doing 20 dBs of gain reduction. Oh my God. What's doing the makeup gain? Is it automatic? It's automatic. <laughs> 